Good morning, YouTubers. This is Francisco, and today I am going to go a little bit more in depth into the lower bin on my vermiculture system. So on a previous video, I walked you step by step the process of putting together a homemade vermiculture system using plastic bins. On the top bin, that's where I keep all the worms with all the activities happening. And in the lower bin is sort of a catching system where I fill the, the bin about two or three quarters with wood chips and then I inoculate the wood chips with King Estropharia or wine cap Estropharia is a mushroom that if you don't know about it, you definitely want to know about it. It's super easy to grow. It's easy to identify. So if you are actually going to go harvest it to eat it, you don't have to worry about getting it confused with something poisonous. Uh, wine cap Estropharia tolerates sunlight. You don't have to just kind of, it's not exclusive to shade areas. Um, it builds soil structure, it has symbiotic relationships with plants, so it actually adds a ton of different functions and benefits to your garden. So stay tuned for that part. What I'm going to show you next is what the wood chips look like after two or three months serving as that catching system under the worm bin. So when I remove the cover, what you see here, it looks like a pack of wood chips or decomposed material at this point it's really hard to tell if they're uh, what it was originally but you see those little white dots that look like almost frost that is not frost this is actually king estropharia uh, mycelium that is still eating away at this pile of wood chips this pile of wood chips that were essentially separated different particles of organic material now turn into a block. So you can already imagine if you have soil conditions where your soil is too loose or it's not retaining enough humidity, by adding King Estropharia mycelium to it, this is the kind of um, compaction, but it's not really compaction because inside of the the block is just networks and critters and worms are still working and living in these um, chunks. It's like an apartment, an apartment building for biodiversity um, in your soil. So you can really see the power. I mean, this is, this is hard. I can't take this apart um, of the benefits that these uh, beans can really add to your garden. So from the permaculture perspective, wine cap estropharia is actually one of the most popular, easy to grow, super easy to identify mushrooms. So when it grows, when it fruits, when it produces the, the mushrooms that we actually eat, you're able to easily identify. You don't have to worry about eating the raw mushroom because there's not a lot of other mushrooms in your garden that will look like it. And thank you for watching.